Is it hot? <laughs> Zen says, when in the hot be the hot, when in the cold be the cold. And the moment the hot comes, you feel the hot, you take the fan and you, who oh, is very hot. The moment you say that, you're lost. <laughs> when in the hot, you allow it to burn you alive. And you can sweat the, you can feel the sweat dripping down as if you're taking a bath with the sweat. <laughs> when in the hot, be the hot, when in the cold, be the cold, including the co cold water bath. <laughs> then you have adjusted with the nature. You and the nature, you are strong, yes. I have never seen the nature. When it is hot, it is taking a fan and... <laughs> Oh, it's hot, nature never said. When it's cold, the nature is um, running and go find, trying to find out a sweater, <laughs> covering it itself. Oh, it is not feeling you can do that. The 23rd Zen story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, uh, written by Paul Drips. When Eshun, the Zen nun, was past 60 and about to leave the world, she asked some monks to pile up wood in the yard. Seating herself firmly in the center of the funeral pyre, she had it set fire around the edges. Oh, none, shouted the monk. Is it hot in there? Such a matter would concern only a stupid person like yourself, answered Asian. The flames arose and she passed away. <laughs> when you listen to this story, you think the nun committed sadhi like in India when the husband dies, they ask the wife to sit on the funeral pyre along with the husband and get killed. And Britishers came and stopped it. So when you hear this story, you think it is the same. No, no, it has got nothing to do with that. Here was past 60 means it is already past the time 15 years or 16 years. 16 years or 16. To leave the school, yes. She asked the monks to pile up wood in the yard. Once you leave your school, you have to go. Make sure you go to the college. And the start, you start shivering going to the college because from your nursery to Tencent, you appear in the same school. I was also the same thing. I was in the school and I don't want to go to college. Because school was such a beautiful place. I know everybody from 5th standard, 6, 7, 8, 9. All the students, all the juniors and seniors. But in college, people come from many different areas. And the college, they can rag you. Who, where, what, you do not know. But for you, in past 16 and you want to go to the college, the monk, what she did it, she asked him to pile up the wood so that she can sit on the top of the wood and ask people to burn it. You have to burn up your body, the past. The school things have to burn up so that you go to college. Much before you go to the college, you have decided which college, university you are going to go. So you have in the high school itself, the school authority, hand in and glove the school authority, you make a deal with the college, go around the college, see the college, meet the college uh, seniors. And of course, sometimes you have to go there and uh, show your talent also, yes. So the moment you finish your high school, you go to the college, you are so familiar with the college, yeah, you allow the college to burn you alive, yes, like the uh, gold, the toughest stone. In the highest temperature, it melts, it burns and it melts. The moment it melts, the university use it. The seniors use it to make varieties of ornaments. You are so popular because every part of your body is varieties of ornaments. That is what she said. She asked the monks to pile up wood in the yard, setting herself firmly in the center of the funeral pile. She had it set fire around the edges. Oh, none shut to the monk. Is it hot in there? The moment you go to your husband's house after the marriage, people keep on asking your husband, give him say, go to the, are they torturing you? Is it okay? Are they adjusting? You must understand you are going to a new place and you must understand when you roam, act like a Roman. So you have already studied about that place. You have made a deal with that place. Of course, now the nucleus family has created that damage. Olden days, no girl will ever feel she's going to the husband's house because 
<laughs> husband's house is his own uncle only. husband is his own cousin brother only everything is there you know husband's mother husband's father they were all uncles they all jumped and danced and ate together and took bath together you never feel so when you go there you just melt with your dance and your song and the hug <laughs> You cook and enjoy. you enjoy being in the house. Means you allow them to burn you. Yes, you went and sat on the funeral pyre. Means you forget your house and allow everything to be burned out. Yes, it's not that you're you're destroying you, by burning by sitting on the on the pile of wood by allowing your house people to burn it up. You are create beautiful ornaments when you go to the husband's house. Wow! They also felt the house when you left the house. They know she has given her talent so beautifully. The man goes to the office. A new job. Yes, he, he will burn it up. His his talent should be given. Hundred is hundred. Not a pint of shit in a cup of not a drop to be kept. You must give everything, every talent which allows them to burn. You must burn and burn. Yes, you must sweat and sweat and never tell it is him. Say never tell they are torturing. <laughs> they are squeezing you out. The moment they squeeze you, you should feel happy that the last drop of your talent squeezed out, so that fresh water comes in. Everybody knows the well water. If you remove the well water, fresh water comes in. The old water is gone. Yes, if you leave a small drop of your talent in your body, everybody knows the chef cows, which I've been talking about the BX Bihar Chief Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav. How you make railways run in profit? He said nothing. I looked at the chef cow. I have a chef cows, and we milk. We should remove the last drop of the milk from the udder of the chef cow. If you don't remove, the cow will fall sick, and you lose the profit. So, which is good, remove the last drop. <laughs> Cow is healthy, you make the profit. That is how you allow it to burn. And here people kept on telling stories. Oh, she had the power to sit on the top of the funeral pyre. It said, no, 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 that and all is physical pain. This is not about the talk of the physical. Oh, none shout the mom. Everybody shouts when you go to college. Hi, hi, is it okay? Why are they disturbing you? <laughs> I call Chaitanya. She was writing a civil service examination at the same time she was helping my children also write civil service examination. So I called and asked uh, results and she said in civil service examination there is only one rule. The person who is writing civil service exam never called them and asked what was the result. If the result was good they will call you. <laughs> you should not ask. That hurts them. Why are people asking when you go to the husband's house? How was it? When you go to college? How was it? How was it? They wanted to create a fear in you because there was no family. There is no joint family in the family tree. All three were broken now. Hence that fear. Yes. But it is hot. The monk was the same. He asked, why is it hot there? Because he knows the nucleus family. <laughs> but the nun was already melted with so many groups. So she knew anywhere she goes, and I'm a Rome, act like a Roman. She won't act like a nun. She goes to the house, she cooks food, eat the same food, sleep in the same dining hall, take baths together. Yes. And no separate office. Like what Socrates said, wisdom to become knowledge, the leader should sit in the midst of the people, eat in the same dining hall, sleep in the midst of the people, and discuss in the hall, not in separate, only then wisdom can become knowledge. That is the connecting link over here. Such a matter would concern only a stupid person like yours will answer the issue. <laughs> Whenever I go, I decided wherever I go, when I'm Rome, like act like a Roman, yes, bestow the people. I don't carry my Sanskrit, but my Sanskrit, I don't have to carry because Sanskrit is melted. It doesn't go there and say, like the Japanese kids, any food you give, they put in more than this. They make the, all this noise and say, mm, this got sweet, it has got jaggery. You can tell by tasting and they say, I am not used to it. So next time after practicing, I'll eat more. <laughs> you must go anywhere but you should practice. But I see in my South Indian, when you eat North Indian food, ah, Chinese food, ah, which they are not used to. 
He said, ah, no, 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 please participate. The flames arose and she passed away. When the flames arose, the rock broke into pieces, melted for the goldsmith to make varieties of ornaments. And that was the beauty of the society. Is it hot? And the hot beat the hot, when in the cold beat the cold. <laughs>